We are going to be converting this equation, y equals 3x, into standard form, which means that we're going to start with something that looks like a y equals mx plus b relationship, and we are going to end with something with all the terms on the left-hand side and the term containing the x positive. Now, we're given this equation, y equals 3x, something that relates y to x. In this case, you'll notice there's nothing being added to the 3x. And so, in other words, the y-intercept is 0. This is sometimes known as direct variation. But our job is to convert this into standard form. We know for standard form that all the terms, except, of course, the 0, need to be on the left-hand side. So we're going to start by subtracting 3x from both sides. I can certainly see where this is going on the right-hand side. On the left-hand side, I don't have any x's, and so I'm just going to subtract 3x from what isn't there, or 0x's. And I can see that I am subtracting equal amounts from both sides, and so I'm maintaining the integrity of that equation. Where does this leave us? Well, nothing minus 3x is obviously negative 3x. And we have a positive y, so negative 3x plus y. And 3x's take away 3x's, obviously, is equal to 0. I'm almost there except the term containing the x must be positive. I need to change all my signs. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by negative 1. And so I'm just going to put brackets around the left-hand side. And then I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. So negative 1 times negative 3x. A negative times a negative is. And so I'm left with 3x. And negative 1 times positive y, of course, is negative y. And that is equal to negative 1 times 0, or 0. And so I've converted y equals 3x to standard form. And I see that it meets all the criteria. All the terms are on the left, except, of course, for the 0. And the term containing the x is positive.